Hey guys, RJ here, and this is Rhodes Premier League number 48, and this is actually a really good episode, if I do say so myself, as we lead up to the big 5-0, a little milestone in the um, the process of trying to get Shrewsbury Town to the Premier League. If you're new to the series, then thanks for tuning in. I know I'm getting a few new viewers and everything, so with everyone who tunes in, make sure to check out all the videos and keep up with recent ones. I usually update every day if you don't already know this, but um, yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, but back to the action, we come up here guys against Leeds and if you remember from last season they absolutely dominated us like 4-0 and they went to it this game in the same sort of way where they scored in the 17th minute but I was so determined this was not going to happen and in the 69th minute after trying and trying and trying and trying to score Wynn actually grabs I think his first goal of the season to put us on terms and then Davis for some reason finishes amazingly on the edge of the box and that team really shook up who I was thinking about playing for the Man United game. If you don't know that we come against Man United in the league by the title, then you definitely do now. Uh, because we did come up against them. And just to make the situation worse, it was at Old Trafford. So their home ground, the home advantage, probably not much of our fans there. And the fact that we don't do too much away, let alone be in the weaker side. But in our favour, they played a somewhat reserved side and there wasn't Rooney, Welbeck, um, Ashley Young, any of these people. They all seemed to be benched for this game, possibly rested for Premier League games. So I was hoping to take advantage um, of that. We've changed the formation and put in five at the back just to kind of quell their attacks and try and be able to just put less emphasis on attacking. But with that, we had the best chance of the first half, as you just saw there, hitting a crossbar to... Um, come so so close but Man United meant business and they brought on the two big players to little effect though as the game went on into extra time now I did keep pushing even though I had five at the back and to be honest it did sort of work it allowed Win to push up a bit and with his speed he could help the attack and really feed the balls in as you can see there to do a core who scores his first goal for the club if I'm not mistaken he came close in recent weeks by hitting the um, crossbar and post against West Brom but that goal is more important than any he could have scored and finishing against Man United to get us the win and a bit of money is awesome he was absolutely awesome um, to be honest but the next game funnily enough was not as easy and we ended up going through not only half time but also the second half with a nil nil draw only picking up one point from this game but to be honest I didn't really care because of how well the team had done against Man United that was the main goal I need the money of doing that to be able to sign players um, of the team and keep people on whom good but talking about signing players as you can see here the scout come back with some reports and he actually picked up some really decent people this um, Hume guy, I think his name's pronounced, 77 to 91 player potential, and it's like 50 to 74, I think, overall potential at the moment. And even though that's really optimistic, it's still pretty good, to be fair. And as well, Tia Chira, I've got no idea how to pronounce that. Um, both we've watched for a while, but both seem like really good players, to be honest, and both players that we could possibly end up picking up for the team and using for players who are not playing. But as you see here, guys, we pick up a win to end the episode. Thanks for watching, as always. Make sure to tune in, guys, for the next episode.